Okay, back from where we left off at the Danio tub. Um, this is my um, bucket where I'm doing a um, cross between a male Yangifei Hikari and two female uh, Mayuki Madakas. And uh seen one of the females with the eggs, so hopefully give them another couple weeks. Once I see Fry, I'll pull the adults and just uh, let things go the way they go. Um, this tub is going to be used when, in a, like a week or two, I'm going to start throwing water lettuce in here for, um, from the Yangifei Hikari tub to keep propagating. I might actually, I'm debating whether I want to throw in some flag fish in here. I might, though. Um, this is the, uh, the Satan, uh, Gold Madaka cross tub. And uh, I pulled the adults because there's a ton of fry in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Probably not. They're still at the sliver stage or just past it. Um, but yeah, they seem to be doing very well. Um, they're very dark. I've not really dealt with melanistic madakas before, and when they hatch out, they are in fact black. And I'm seeing some kind of coppery overtones to them. So it'll be interesting to see what these look like when they grow out. This is my um, my orange blossom tub, and at this point, I think I only have two of them left. I bought six, and I'm down to two, but they are growing out. Uh, one of them does have the phenotype, the uh, white with orange marbling. The other one looks like it's just white. Um, the one with the orange marbling, um, I could see the anal fin. I think it's a male. Um, we'll see what the white turns into. Uh, after give another couple weeks, I'm gonna br just to let all the eggs hatch out from this. Um, tub. I'm going to break off a part of that uh, water lettuce and move it in here and hopefully I've got uh, at least, I mean, at least a male and a female that I can produce some fry from this year and then cross them back next year to try to get that phenotype. Um, if it's two males or two females, things are going to get complicated and I'll probably have to deal with that next year. Um, this is the uh, Aphanius Mento tub, um, the big one. Again, like normally I want allergy in my Aphanius tubs. It has been really a, a challenge this year with there's just been so much. I've thrown in a couple of water lettuce um, to hopefully start going, growing and out competing at the, the water cellar. is actually doing quite good. And then uh, from Karis again, I got um, another one of these, uh, what do you call it? It's a papyrus plant, which normally I don't like because they get huge, but... Uh, my options were limited, so I said, ah, what the hell, and, well, we'll see how it goes. And actually, we're going to go back over this way. Um, this is the Satan Madaka tub. Seen them, they're still in here. I actually moved the male that was in the cross tub over into here. And, um, yeah, I haven't seen any fry yet. Hopefully soon, I think, because, I've again, this one's been like an algae nightmare, so I've just been constantly pulling algae. And you, you see all the algae that's in there right now. Uh... That I cleaned this out yesterday, so that tells you how quick the allergies coming back. But um, but yeah, hopefully gonna see fry in there soon. This is my uh, other Aphanius Mento tub again. Threw in a uh, water lettuce. This one, this water lettuce is really going to town again. I'm still having to strip out the algae though, but hopefully it'll the water lettuce will really start overtaking it. Um, this tub, I end up actually putting my um, my variatus platys in, my wild type variatus that I got uh, earlier this spring, because I figured they'll just grow faster outside, and eventually I'm going to throw some Yangifei Hikari, um, some of the water lettuce from here once it keeps growing out, and start throwing it in here to produce more of those guys. Um, yeah. Oh, and I've got a um, this is a marsh marigold plant that I really like. They have I haven't been able to find it locally for a couple of years, and they had some in, so I bought one. Might get another um, later. So, uh, continuing. This way, this is my Mayuki Madaka tub. Got this big mint plant to try to give it some more cover. And hopefully grow into the water. We'll see about that. Oh, um, there's actually one of the guys right there. Um, if you can see him, there's another one right over here. They're hanging out in the shadows right now. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen any fry yet. This one's again like an algae nightmare and because of the 
guppy grass I got in there it's almost impossible to get all the algae out and I don't want to pull out all the guppy grass because these guys need cover from predators so I guess we'll see how that goes this is my Yangife Hikari tub starting to see fry in it which makes me very excited um, yeah and the water lettuce is really starting to go the algae is also going insane and I'm trying to stay on top of that um, and all the like scum that you see in these tubs I just fed like I don't know half an hour ago so the fry food um, kind of leaves a scummy film on the surface and a lot of little particles so that's what you're seeing um, oh and I've been able to propagate some more of um, actually I keep finding one here there's even still a couple that I'm going to be pulling but um, the twister uh, what you call it um, the soft rush the Junkus twister um, it seeded in this um, lily pot last year so I've been pulling out the little seedlings and I've been transferring them to pots to grow out hopefully you know grow out this year and then maybe be able to keep them going for next uh, next season this is my um, my gold barb tub not a whole lot of action going on in here and uh, I so this watercress I've come to the conclusion trying to do stem plants and tubs is pretty much pointless um, this one's actually doing okay but most of the time they just bolt to the surface rot out at the bottom and then die out um, I have been taking from the Aphanius tub and this tub um, the uh, the stems that have detached and I've been trying to plant them in in these hanging boxes like this um, to make success. There's a couple of these look like they're they're taken off, but we'll see. Um, was able to get one umbrella plant. I should have bought more when I when they had them in for not expensive, but I only bought one because I thought, oh, I'm going to use the coupon to you know twenty dollar off seventy five bucks coupon and buy a bunch of stuff. But they took them a couple weeks to get in new plants, so. Um, yeah, I only ended up getting the one, but yeah, not a whole lot going on with this tub. Um, the Iliodon and Crackodon tub seems to be going well. Did not have very much algae until like today. Now I'm starting to see some algae on the, the hornwort, but, uh, but yeah, they seem to be doing well. Um, added a sweet flag to this and also, um, uh, a hardy canna, which is actually a U.S. native. I think the genus was, I can see the tag, Thalia dilbata, but that's a really cool looking plant. Let's see if I can save it over the winter. It's not frost tolerant, so I'll have to bring it inside. But, uh, but yeah, hoping I can keep it going. Um, but yeah, and then um, this mint plant that I've got hanging off the side, you can see it's, um, it's a chocolate mint, and it's thrown down um, runners, and there's just an insane amount of roots that are coming off these runners I mean just just look at that you know so I think next year I will definitely um, use more chocolate in there especially if the grocery store gets it in cheap like they did this year but that's mostly what's going on with the tubs you know things are, are moving along right now the struggle is algae hopefully in a couple weeks um, we'll be able to get control of that um, definitely a lesson learned from this year is um, hornwort and water, uh, not water lettuce, hornwort and um, guppy grass. Uh, they just get overwhelmed by algae if you put them out early in the season. It's better to just bite the bullet and buy a bunch of water lettuce. Also, I'm finding, and admittedly, this is a very little sample size for the water hyacinth, but I think the water lettuce does better than the water hyacinth here. Um, I think it's just because, uh, you know, it, uh, it tolerates lower temps would be my guess, just a little bit better. So, but yeah, moral of the story, um, get more water lettuce and then don't do, even though you can, you know, I'm growing it in my tanks and so it's free, the, um, oh, uh, the hornwort and the guppy grass, it just ends up getting overrun by algae and just be, ends up being a total pain in the butt, and I think if I didn't do it, I could just yank out the algae by the handful, so, and the other thing is, yeah, stem plants don't really work except for Marcelia, but, uh, anyway, that is the state of my, uh, of my tubs right now, and, uh, yeah, we'll just end on a, on a cat who's, uh, going to try to go under the, the shed. 
And we've also got a cat trying to climb a tree who's not very good at climbing. Oh, you're gonna come down there, man? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you look a little bit crazy. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. This is my big cat. So yeah, I think we'll end on that. And uh, yes, enjoy the Mocha Man.